today we are discussing with one of the important chapter our cbsc board textbook real numbers that is what is mean by a real number a real number means a connective of number system that is very beginning all of you know very well about the natural numbers natural numbers are the numbers which we generally use for the counting that is in the least number of the natural numbers is a 1 and the highest number is cannot define that is n is equal to set of 1 2 3 3 and so on that is in the set of natural numbers the least number is the 1 and the highest number we cannot define and the set of natural numbers are denoted with capital n next set of whole numbers how to define a whole number whole numbers are the numbers to the natural numbers you include zero then the set of numbers formed is called a set of whole numbers that means in the set of whole numbers the least number is a zero and the highest number is not defined next what is mean by a integer next set of integers how set of integers will form the set of the group of negative numbers and the positive numbers together zero will form a set of integers integers are denoted by the letter i or z that is minus 4 minus 3 minus 2 minus 1 0 1 2 3 3 and so on that means the least number of the integers we cannot define and at the same time the maximum number of the integers also we cannot define next irrational number how to define a rational number rational numbers are denoted with the letter q very beginning what is meant by rational numbers rational numbers are of the form p by q that means a numbers are which are of the form fraction form there is a p by q form are called rational numbers here p comma q are collected from the integers that is z and q not equal to 0 this is a definition of rational numbers now we can discuss more about the rational numbers that is a number which are of the form p by q are all rational numbers yes the numbers which we can mention in the form of p by q or we can called as a rational numbers now see of now after this one every rational number can be expressed as in two different forms that is either terminating or non terminating repeating next what are the mean by terminating decimal terminating decimal means which will get the remainder zero suppose for example 5 by 2 5 by 2 is nothing but 2.5 next secondly 10 by 3 10 by 3 means approximately there is a 3.33333 so on that which is called as a 3.3 bar that is which is a terminating decimal which is a non terminating repeating decimal that is terminating non terminating repeating non terminating repeating these two are called rational numbers denoted with the q that means every rational number can be expressed as either terminating or non terminating or repeating decimals then one more decimals are three in types number 1 terminating number 2 non terminating number 3 non terminating repeating among the three two are selected as rational numbers then what about the third one which is called as an irrational numbers that is irrational numbers are denoted with next one 
non terminating repeating over next non terminating non terminating decimals are denoted with the q dash that is the irrational numbers therefore the union of that is union of rationals and irrationals we can call as a real numbers that means or in some people we also they mention q dash also with s therefore what we understand mean by real number a real number is a combination of rational and irrational okay from our previous knowledge we can decide that all natural numbers are whole numbers that is natural numbers is subset to whole numbers and all whole numbers are integers that is whole numbers is subset to integers and all integers are subset to the rational numbers now in the number system the least number system is the natural numbers and the biggest in this group is the rational now q dash is a separate from this that means q and q dash are quite different to each other now that is if you come combine these two that is rational numbers union irrational numbers will gives you a real number okay our next topic is euclid's division lemma or euclid's division algorithm we know the meaning of algorithm algorithm means a step by step procedure to solve the problem and then lemma lemma means which is a connective to a theorem or a part of a theorem now let a comma b are positive integers let a comma b are the two positive integers then there exist then there exist unique q comma r then there exist unique unique nothing but one and only one then there exist unique here it is a very important word unique one and only one unique q comma r such that such that a is equal to bq plus r this is the condition where 0 less than or equal to r less than b what are the positions of a b q and r that is a is dividend now b is your divisor and q be the quotient and r be the the remainder okay now what are the positions of a b q r are very clear here once again i do repeat let a comma b r any two positive integers then there exist a unique q comma r such that that means here we can observe four different variables that is a b q r they can arrange in the form of a is equal to bq plus r and one of the very most important condition they must satisfy this one that is your remainder is either 0 or greater than 0 and your remainder must be always less than b who is a b here b is a divisor next a is a dividend b is a divisor q is the quotient and r be the remainder 